hello guys welcome to my channel you are watching how to fix stack in this video i am going to show you four steps to resolve this issue the application was unable to start correctly and its error code is 1242 in the last okay this error occurs when the files and programs of the that software are corrupted and sometime your windows is corrupted so how we can try to repair our window to so go to search bar type here cmd right click on it run as administrator Click on the yes button when prompt opens and the first command you need to type SFC space slash scan now. SFC stands for system file checker which will scan all the corruption files. You need to wait for the process to complete and this will go to 100%. Okay. If this command is not working on your windows and it means that we can find out the other method. If this command has been successfully run inside your window, it means that no corruption inside your windows. And if you found that the corruption is repaired, so it means that you can try the other method. So minimize this option, go to search bar and then check, then go to control panel, open the control panel, click view by and then click on the large icon so that you can see the options. Okay, now go to reason option. This is the reason. Make sure you have selected the right reason. Go to administrative templates here. Then go to this option. Current language for known unique and program. Change system locate. Click on this option. Okay, now click on the drop down menu and select the your reason from drop down menu. Okay, after selecting the right location of your current location click on apply and apply ok ok now this is the second method you can try if still not working we can go to the third method in the third method we will check the compatibility of that program ok right click on that program and choose two properties ok and go for compatibility run this program in compatibility mode for Okay, you can choose Windows 7 or 8. You can choose one by one and you can select all options one by one which is working or not. And make sure you have admin rights to open the program. Okay, click on this option. Run this program as administrator. Then click on apply and then click on OK. And check if the program is running or not. If these three methods are not working on your system, it means that sometime your corrupted DLL file can cause this issue. So we can re-register the corruption inside the DLL file. Again, go to CMD. Okay, right click on it, run as administrator again. Click on this button when prompt opens. Okay, now here, you need to type two commands one by one. These command you can get in the description box directly. Copy the first command here to re-register the DLL files. Okay. Copy and paste this. Hit enter. After that, choose this option, second one. And this is command for re-registering the DLL, all the DLL files. Hit enter. And this is the very powerful method you can try. Okay, and after that, exit out from the command and restart your system. Your issue should be fixed. So, hope your issue is fixed now. If your issue is fixed, then hit like.